Hey, what is up everybody? Today I'll be looking we'll be looking at my Nintendo video game c collection for the end of the year. That is December 2015. Well, December 30th, 2015 anyways. At uh, moving on, I'll be I'll be looking at my video game collection for all the Nintendo consoles I have, both handheld and consoles. So, um let's get started with the Game Boy Advance here. I'll also be going in order of purchase and or the, what whichever ones I acquired first. So, as you can see here, I got Sonic Advance 3, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, Rugrats Go Wild, and Sonic Advance. Um, I should... Uh, I... These three games right here were actually given to me by my late uncle about around 2008, and... The fact that they still work now, I'm very impressed by the by the durability of these cartridges. And I got Sonic Advance earlier this year, so there's that. Um, you know that uh, I only have four games. I don't think I'll ever get any more unless it's Sonic related, because I am a big Sonic fan after all. Uh, moving on to my DS collection, I've got. Cooking Mama 2 Dinners with Bren. Yeah, it's actually not... It's actually my sister's. I didn't really buy it. Got it around 2000... I, I think I bought it for her for like Christmas or something in 2008. Can't remember, but... Eh. This one, it was early... This one, Sonic Rush. Great game, by the way. I believe I got this and as well as Sonic Rush Adventure. I think it was either this year or last year. I can't remember, but they're both two great games. And as you can clearly see, that's all I've got for my DS collection. I used to have more, but I traded those in. Now onto my Nintendo 3DS collection, which is definitely the biggest out of biggest, which I have the most games for here. So let's start off. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Not that bad. Not bad. It's just... Meh. I definitely enjoy the Winter Olympics better than this. The Vancouver one. Not the Sochi one. Because that one I've heard bad things about. Next one. Mario Kart 7. I actually traded a lot of my DS games for this. and eh, it's, it's good, but... I'm pretty indifferent to the to the flying and underwater segments. They're okay. They're fine. They're fun the first time, but after a while, it just there. Although, although if you're gonna if you want to play Mario Kart Online, I think this is good. I don't I don't own a Wii U, so I don't know nothing about Mario Kart 8 online multiplayer. But it's definitely a good game, that's for sure. Mario Tennis Open. Uh, not exactly the best tennis game, but it's okay, I guess. Definitely don't pay 40 bucks, though. I, eh, it's, it's just a bit bland. And here, and, and here's another one. Next one. Sonic Generations on Nintendo 3DS. Okay. Say what you want, guys. I actually had fun with this one. You could say whether or not it's water down port and all that, but I had fun, a lot of fun with it. So, yeah. Uh, definitely, for sure, do not buy it off the eShop unless it's under 20 bucks. Well, $19.99 or whatever. It's... Give it a try, I guess. I definitely recommend the Rush games over this. Because of, for quality reasons. Next one. Style Savvy Trendsetter. Yeah, this is actually my sister's as well. You know nothing about this except that they they just released a sequel only in Japan and Europe, but not North America. Alright. Next one. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This one was 
one I was look really looking forward to. I actually had a lot of fun with this. It's an excellent game. If you, um, I have a strong feeling that they just that they didn't call it two, Luigi's Mansion two because, well, if you're, well, obviously a lot of gamers if they see the number two, then they'll want the then they'll think, well, where's number where's the first one, and it's on the GameCube. So, do you really want to play a? And you know there are some people, myself included, that feel that I should play the first game before playing the second game. It's just how I go, guys. It's an excellent game. Definitely recommend that. And this one's a bit more controversial. Sonic Lost World on Nintendo 3DS. I I actually had some fun with them with this one. Um only thing is I know a lot of people don't like it because of the level design. Yeah, I admit some of the level design just gets ridiculous at times, but I still had fun with it. Eh, if you were to get this game, I can't just can't say I can't say whether or not it's worth forty full price or not. Definitely worth has a lot lot. It's somewhat worth more than generations, but at the same time, slightly less in some ways. It I don't know. I don't know what to say. Tomo, okay, next one. Tomodachi Life. Yeah, it's a, it's a life simulator on the lines of Animal Crossing, only with your Miis, and plus you can't move around. It's just, it's all touch-based. Eh, I'm in, I guess it's okay, I don't know. My sister seems to like it a lot. Art, okay. Next one. Art Academy, Lessons for Everyone. I actually got this got this as a present for my sister she's barely played it it's if you want to learn how to do basic art I guess get this otherwise take some art classes ah now here's a one I really enjoyed Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS get this game if you own a Nintendo 3DS regardless you will find at least one character in the game that you like to play as that is assuming you can get into the game to begin with, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, and while I'm at it, yeah, I got this amiibo right here. Sonic amiibo with the NFC reader, because I have an old 3DS. Other than, that, other than that, it's an excellent game. Definitely go get it. Speaking of excellent games, Super Mario 3D Land. I already showed that this off in an unboxing video. I got it for 20 bucks. Great deal, along with Call of Duty Ghosts, I guess. Anyways, it's the first original 3D Mario game on a handheld, and I thought that it was excellent. It's 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 actually one of the only games on the Nintendo 3DS where I actually keep the 3D on. That's that's a amazing, incredible accomplishment, especially considering nowadays people don't really care about the 3D. The next game on my list, next game, I got Skylander Spyro's Adventure. It's okay. It falls under, under the category of a Lego, something on the lines of a Lego game or something like that, only you need certain characters to do certain stages and stuff like that. Certain tasks, that is. Tasks within a stage. Uh, the 3DS port a version, it's okay-ish. Although... Although the handheld, I mean the con, from what I've seen, the console version is looks it's a lot bigger and all. It is is more it's a lot bigger and all that stuff. So I'm not sure whether or not this whether you should get this one or the home console one. Maybe the home console version because well the the reasons I already mentioned handheld because. You want to take it to go. Uh, play play on the go, is what I meant to say. Next one is... Oh, uh, right. Here's the Skylanders I got. I got Igniter, Legendary Spyro, and Stealth Elf, along with the Portal. Next game, Skylanders Giants, which I did an unboxing of a few days ago. Yeah, I barely... I haven't even touched this game. I... 
I'll do it. I'll probably do it. Play it a, later. I got like I like I said in the unboxing video. I got it for ten bucks. That's a Christmas present. It, it it was a Christmas present too. So that yeah, yeah. I'll get to this after. I'll I'll be playing this game after I finish the next game that I'm gonna talk about. That is. Kid Icarus Uprising. Along with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, I was really looking forward to this one. I just got it today. Too. I I really like it. I it's it's a good game. It's just damn the controls. Oh man, the controls. Trying to hold the entire system with just one hand is so hard to do, especially if you got a 3DS XL. And if you got a, if you got a regular size 3DS I mean, it's a little better, but still, ugh. Not even the Circle Pad Pro even helps. Which is, which, well, at least that's what I've heard. I don't own that, own that peripheral, but I know for a fact that you can't use the, use the, cir the Circle Pad Pro in the way that you, you'd think you could use it. I also don't have the AR cards, which are supposed to come with this, which sucks. But hey, it, it was 30 bucks, which... Is, which may seem expensive, but compared to compared to like um, pawn shops and all that stuff, it's it's fifty bucks there, sixty dollars for the copy with the um, with the stand, 3DS stand. So yeah. Other other than that, it's still a great game. All right, I think that covers my handheld collection. Let's get on with the console. On to the console games. First up, Wii Sports. Yeah, you guys already know about this game. Pretty much just shows off the Wii's motion controls. Nothing more. Nothing more I can say. Other than that, that it's one of the best-selling games of all time. Wii Sports Resort makes use of the Motion Plus. I had a lot more fun with this one than Wii Sports. That's for sure. Next one. This was a Christmas present. Wii Party. It's a fun party game. Yeah. Okay. Glacier 3 The Meltdown. This is one of those so-called shovelware games, but I don't care. It's still a f damn fine game. I had a lot of fun with my sister playing this one, that's for sure. And the next one is Mario Kart Wii. I got this one for full price, by the way. It comes with comes with a game and a Wii wheel, and you can still get it in stores. Ah, great! There goes my other games. Anyways, yeah. Initially, I think I think now that I look at it, I think I swear this one is better than Seven in some regards. Can't say entirely, but. But it's okay. Actually, you know what? This besides this, the underwater and gliding mechanics in seven, I like this a lot better. Yeah. Now if I, I'm gonna put that away now. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, next one: Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, the Wii version. Yeah, that, uh, I haven't played too much of this, although. I thought it was okay. There's a lot of references to Mario and Sonic, obviously, but and I really I have a lot of fun with the Dream events. That's for sure, especially when they have remixes of of tracks from past Mario and Sonic games. That's really nice. It's also the last Sonic-related game to be released on Wii, so there's that. Next one. Okay, now we're getting into. Some really good ones here. Super Mario Galaxy. Man, I had a damn fine, exp great experience with this one. It really is probably out of between 60, Super Mario 64 and Sunshine. This is the one that you'd want to get. It's that good. Next one, another Nintendo Select title, The Legend of Zelda Twilight. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 
I have, I played the GameCube version before this, and I think there are, I'm, the difference between that one and this one is, this version is that, well, motion controls and everything is mirrored. It's okay, although I'll probably, I'll pro although probably when the HD remake port comes out next year, I'll probably go trade this in and stuff. You know, when I actually get a Wii U, that is. It's a, it's a, oh right, it's an, also an excellent game. Yeah, definitely one to have in your Wii collection. And this, the next one, eh, Wii Fit Plus. I just got this because it was like $2.99. Um, I also haven't played it because I don't have a Wii Balance Board. Yeah, I'll be meaning to get one, but, eh. Alright, Sonic Colors. It's an ex... Definitely, probably the best Sonic game on Wii. That's for sure. You got the new color powers and all that. You got some really good level design. Although it is mostly in 2D. But yes, it is one of the games you should play. Especially a Sonic game. It, it, in fact, it was the one that actually... That, really brought the series back in 2010 and also the last main series Sonic game on Wii next one okay first of all this is actually this this cover you see right here was actually printed on off my own printer because it doesn't because the game didn't because I bought this news without a cover it was cheap like 20 bucks and plus I got a 10% discount for buying a game that didn't have a proper cover Super Smash Bros. Brawl I can say for for a fact that I enjoy definitely enjoyed playing the 3DS one better more than this. I mean, I've just been spoiled by that game. It's so I mean, although although if you want to get get a start on the Super Smash Brothers series, get this one. The slower gameplay will make it easier for you. All right, this one I actually didn't pay for. I actually traded for it. Sonic and the Black Knight. Mm, not that bad. Although I will say, I swear colors is better than this. By a long shot, I think. It, this, I don't own Secret Rings, but I can say, I think this one is the better because I can actually control Sonic with an analog stick and not tilt the Wii Remote. Has some great music too. That and Sonic Colors. Is, yeah. All right, okay, this one. That okay. That's the end of my Wii collection. So next is my Wii U collection, which only consists of Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Get it for Wii U? Because it's the fourth entry. Yeah, I only got this because I don't I don't have a Wii U, so I can't really play this. But I got this because at the time they were offering Mewtwo. For free if I registered the code at Club Nintendo along with the 3DS version. So there's, yeah, there's that. I will definitely be playing this one when I get a Wii U. That is for sure. I actually did actually did uh, an eight-player Smash video the not too long ago, but that's because I played it at a friend's house. It's man, is it a great game? All right, and I think that is it, guys. That's it for my Nintendo collection of 2015. So, if there's anything you'd like to say, that's pa That's not negative. Well, okay, maybe something negative, but if there's anything you'd like to say, just say so in the comments. Other than that, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I guess see you next time when I do my... Um, PlayStation collection and PC as well. So, yeah. See you later.